Mark, what does it mean to you to be a thousand yard rusher, especially a school like this to dance so many times? Uh, I mean, it's a good honor and everything. You know, I just got to keep listening and keep getting better. Try to achieve more goals. Mario, as Chip mentioned, you were over a thousand yards in just nine games. The last guy at UNC to do that faster was Gio Bernard in 2012. Do you, is he someone you remember watching in college or in the pros? Do you know Bernard? Yeah, yeah, I remember watching him. Yeah, he's a really good player. What does it mean to be in his company that here where he's a bit of a local legend, really? It's really amazing. Just, just being able to just compare myself with, with some of the top players. You know, Can you take us through that 54-yard touchdown run? Just kind of, you got the ball. I, it looked like the hole was pretty big. How big was it? What did you see? And when did you realize you were going to go and touch? Yeah, really just the whole line just, they did their thing all day, and then they just opened up the hole, and they just put me one-on-one -on -one with the safety. And they put, if they put me one-on-one -on -one with the safety, it's my job. How about the four-yard touchdown on the like a rug scrum? Yeah. That, was, that was on the line, too. I really just got, got like four or five yards, and they got stood up, and the whole line helped me push through the pile and everything. You just feel like you were picked up and carried in there? Like, <laughs> yeah, kind of like Part of that had to be you, though, because there were at least five cable players that made pretty solid contact with you on that play. So yeah, some yeah. of it has to be you. Right? Yeah, yeah. What is it about you that got in, too? Really just keeping my feet moving and then not stopping to try to get How did it feel to get a breather for the first time? It's not like a while. It seems like you play, you know, pretty much throughout the whole game and getting almost 30 carries, I guess. What was it like to just kind of fourth quarter, sit back, relax, kind of take some stuff off your legs kind of thing? Yeah, yeah, it felt good. It felt good because all the players got to play and everything. We got to see some young guys play and everything. So, yeah. it's, it's four straight 100 yard games for you. Like in high school, I know those numbers were, were kind of commonplace, but what was it like to play in the big time? Like, what was it like to be able to do that? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Like, I mean, what kind of run did you go on in high school? It was pretty much every game a 100 yard game. What, what were those numbers that you remember from there? Uh, from high school? I don't know. I don't even remember my numbers from high school. Okay. Yeah, we'll look. <laughs> 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 Mario, uh, what was it like seeing Connor Harrell get in there at the end of the game? Uh, you guys came into UNC at the same time. What was it like watching him uh, in that game? Uh, it was just really exciting to see him make that uh, make that long run and everything, and him being able to show his talent through. Because I feel like he got like a real good talent, and so I feel like he's gonna be really good for us next year. How much did you work on? Ball security this offseason. Obviously, last year it seemed like some of the issues and the reasons why you got benched were some of the fumbles you had. And this year, if you leave the country and rush it without a fumble so far, what was kind of that emphasis like for you during the offseason and how that kind of played out this season? Uh, really just taking a big look on it and then trying to lock in up to make sure that's uh, the number one priority is to take care of the ball because that's the most important thing. Did you change anything in terms of how you held the ball or anything mechanically that you saw from last year that you needed to fix going into this season? Uh, really, just, you just got to be more aware of it, just kind of things. So it's, you know, like, just always make sure you take care of the ball no matter what. You guys good with that? Mario, what, have you done anything different or extra in terms of trying to preserve your body with all the carries that you've gotten this season and recently? I mean, has there been more? Cold tub stuff. Like, what are you doing during the week to try to like heal and recover and and, and you know be able to stay the course with this thing? Yeah, I make sure I'm just in a cold tub every day, hot tub every day, just getting in the training room all day, just getting recovery and everything so I can do the best way I can do. Is that is that a daily thing? Or is there a certain day that you focus on that more than others? I mean, no, I try to make it daily, really, so I get in there every day I can. How long are you in there? Uh, probably like 15 to 20 minutes in the cold tub and then getting hot tub 15 minutes. I think you said on stage when we talked to you that sometimes the soreness, you don't get rid of the soreness until about Friday, is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's really just Sunday I'm a little sore and then throughout the week I'm just in the treatment room and everything. Just getting rehabbing everything. So. All right. Thanks, Amari. Thanks. Appreciate it. All right.